Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Becky and I like to read. Continuing on with my fave five series today, I want to share with you my five most beautiful books that I've purchased and read this year. But before I get on with that, let's put on a Santa hat for the day. This is a silky pink one that came from Victoria's Secret. So I bought many a beautiful book this year. I am a cover whore. I love a good, beautiful book cover, especially if it's a hard cover and there's something underneath the dust jacket. Blows my freaking mind every time. First up is the Plated Prisoner White Editions. I freaking love these covers. Um, these two dust jackets are missing because they are part of my candy cane shelf up here. When they all have their dust jackets, they all sort of have this river of gold cascading that lines up very nicely. They also each have these little details right here that each are different. When you take the dust jackets off, you get these beautiful spines that have these beautiful designs on them. And then each cover is slightly different as well. It each has a different design on it there. And the backs also have a little bit of a design variation. I think these are absolutely beautiful. I've actually seen that Fairy Loot has this set coming out soon. And to be honest, I actually prefer these ones. I didn't think the Fairy Loot editions looked that great. So I am happy to continue on. Hopefully they continue publishing them in this set because I think they're very beautiful. Next up is a book that I found in Blackwell's when I was in Edinburgh this summer, and that is The Blue Salt Road by Joanne M. Harris. Is that not a gorgeous book? This book just caught my eye. It has no dust jacket. It is just right on here. The shimmer, the shine. It also has very beautiful end papers, and then it has illustrations throughout. I actually did end up purchasing two other books in the same style by the same author. I just haven't read them yet, but yes, this cover totally caught my eye. Next up, I have A Daughter of the Trolls by Mackenzie Catron. I liked this cover to begin with, but then when I saw the Unplugged Book Box was doing a special edition for this, it had stenciled edges, and I had never owned a book with stenciled edges before, so I grabbed it. But then when I got it and I saw the under the dust jacket art, I was blown away. Look at that stunning naked cover and then the back. It doesn't have end papers or anything, but it has this beautiful illustration of a wheelchair that our main character uses. And it came with reverse dust jacket art. And just the cover of this is so smooth. I don't think I've ever felt a book cover this smooth before. So all of this combined, I absolutely love this book. It's also just an amazing story. I do have a six star in-depth review of this and I will link that down below if you wanna check it out. This is such, such a sweet book. The next book series is one that I actually did get from Fairy Loot and it is my Fairy Loot special editions of the Gilded Wolf series. I love the cohesiveness of these spines and the stencil edges. There is one missing. It's being used as the scarf on my snowman up here and I didn't feel like deconstructing him to get it. But when you line up the spines, they create this design, which I think is so freaking pretty. Each book also has different character artwork as the end pages. And I think they are absolutely gorgeous. So I'm glad that I got my hand on these Fairy Loot Special Editions. And the last book is what I think is probably the most beautiful book that I have bought this year. And that is The Last Quintista. I absolutely love this cover. It caught my eye from pretty far away in Barnes & Noble. I mean, I am pretty blind, but it caught my eye from a distance. And then when I went up to it, I was like flipping open the book to read the synopsis. The synopsis sounded fine. And then I peeked under the dust jacket and I got this. I do love a naked hardcover that is printed right on the hardcover. This story is also as gorgeous as the cover. I have another six star review of this, which I will link down below if you want to hear my thoughts on it. It's not a very good in-depth because I had recorded it much later after I had read it. And I forgot to mention so many things that I loved about this book, but it was amazing. If you like middle grade sci-fis that just feel good and tug at your heart, I highly recommend this book. 
So that is what I consider my five most beautiful purchases this year. Let me know down in the comments what is the most beautiful book that you have bought and read this year. Thank you so much for watching and until my next video, read a beautiful book for me. Bye.